In this video, I'm going to teach you how to write a Pinterest bio to help you and your content get found. Let's get started. Hey guys, Angie Gensler with AngieGensler.com. And in this video, I want to teach you how to write a great Pinterest bio, one that will help you and your content get found better on Pinterest by your ideal reader. So let's take a look at my bio. So you can see I have written, learn how to start and, excuse me, start a blog and grow your business using social media and digital marketing. Take my free Pinterest traffic masterclass at angiegensler.com forward slash Pinterest. So there's a few different elements that I include in here. First, I have a lot of keywords, but they're kind of tucked in there. So the first thing you want to include in your bio, this is so important, keywords. Make sure that you have plenty of keywords within your Pinterest bio. Now, in a previous video, I shared with you about why keyword research is so important on Pinterest. So you should have done your keyword research by now, and you should know what keywords you're wanting to rank for. So make sure you're including those keywords in your bio, but you don't want your bio to be totally stuffed with keywords because we want to write this, of course, for the algorithm so that when people are doing searches, you and your content come up but we also want to write this for people because there is a social aspect to Pinterest and you want to appeal to people so that they follow you and they feel connected with you. So in addition to having keywords, you want to write your bio for a human being, for the human reader. So you can see that instead of just saying, I have start your blog, grow your business, social media, instead of that, I actually put in uh, more for my ideal customer. So learn how to start a blog and grow your business. Uh, take my free Pinterest traffic masterclass. So it's written for the human, for my ideal customer. And then I also include at the very end, a call to action. So that's the third element you want to include in your bio. So first was keywords. Second, you wanna write it for a human being, for your ideal reader. And then third, you want to include a call to action. So I have take my traffic masterclass at, and then I give them the website address of where I want them to go to get access to that free masterclass. And so that's what you want to include in your Pinterest bio to appeal to the algorithm so that you get found in search, but also to appeal to your ideal reader so that people will follow you and they will read your content and they'll head over to your website because that is our ultimate goal. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. I have a checklist that I think you're really gonna love. It is 37 Pinterest marketing tips. You can download it free at angiegensler.com forward slash checklist. And in there, I have 37 brilliant Pinterest marketing tips that you can use to increase your web website traffic and grow your email list. So head over there and download that checklist and then make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you receive a notification every time I publish a new video with a great new Pinterest marketing tip. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.